I think we're rolling. I'm just going to use my little cell phone because I think we can make a good, uh, a decent video. Bay Bay. Bay Bay. Bay Bay is your nickname. Yeah. Bay Bay, you're okay if I video you for, hey, you even got some good, uh, polish going there, don't no, you? No, they got fungus in my toes. You do. This you, one here. You got a lot of foot fungus, don't you? I don't you? know what's going on with have my you had, feet. Have you had, you're okay if we video your, your uh, visit for our friends on YouTube and around the world? Yes. Now, how long have you had problems with foot fungus in general? For the last two years, I think. Okay. And that's all? Just the last couple of years? Last couple of years. Okay. Yeah. All right. And maybe longer than that because before I came from Mobile, I mm -hmm. had it there too. Mm -hmm. Have you just used over the counter creams and mm -hmm. things like that? It's not doing it's anything. It's not doing anything. Okay. And you came in with something new today, though, even though I can see that you have nail fungus on the big nails for sure. Yeah. I'm gonna get a little, can I get a little closer in on that one? Yeah. Because they don't know it's, they don't know who you are because those are not the prettiest nails. But I'm gonna tell you, you've got thick, thick kind of, uh, uh, misshapen yes. toenails. And if we took that polish off, I bet they you we would black. Look, they'd be black and yellow, right? Yes. Uh -huh. uh, and there would be little pits and uh, little little grooves in them. And right. then also they fall apart. They just break apart. Now this one's actually got a little mountain on it. That yeah. little part sticks up. Does this one ever hurt? No. But you that's not what brought you in. We're going to help you with all of this. But I want to show this over here. Looky there. Now that's what brought you in. Does that itch? Yes. That itches. How long have you had that? Um, for about a month. About a month. Okay, do you have any of it on the other one? I don't know. Over here. Uh, maybe, maybe a couple little spots there. Yeah, like little over spot. in there a little bit. Okay. All right, and then let's see the bottom of your tootsies there. There you go. That's the, that's the medical term uh, for feet is tootsies. So you've got a lot of scaling, a lot of dryness, and you've got some other issues there. I'm, uh, I'm going to tell you, you have fungus you have tinea pedis and that's mm -hmm. what that's called where you've got the fungus on the bottom of the foot on the top of the foot but the the uh over here on the the other foot okay you can put back down for me on the other one over there we'll show it again bay bay that's a ringworm oh then it started down and it's coming yeah, up that's a ringworm now do you have a cat no okay do you i go to the pool okay. at the y at and the i y. get in the world ah. pool and the Okay. And the big pool. Okay. Uh, do you work with roses or flowers? No. Do you do a lot of outdoor gardening? No, I don't. Okay. Those are just some common places. That's why I asked. Those are common places to get no, rainworms. I've just been going to the Y and I didn't notice yeah. it until last mm -hmm. month. Mm -hmm. And I didn't pay it any attention. I thought it would yeah. just kind of go away maybe. Yeah. What we're going to do is I'm going to give you uh, topical products for the ranch. Okay. Uh, okay. A prescription topical antifungal cream that you can use. Not just for the ringworm, but you can also use it on the foot for the tinea pedis, okay? okay. Um, th as far as the nails are concerned, that's a that's a that's what we call a horse of a different color. That's a much bigger problem as far as getting rid of it because it just takes a long time. Um, I went to the foot, yeah. the foot doctor before mm -hmm. and he told me that I, I would have to pay $500 and I didn't have it. No, were they going to take the nails off? He was going to do something with laser. Yeah, he was going to remove the nails and just... But pitch. I had to stop taking one of my pills. Oh, really? To do it. Okay. I don't know it was, if it was for the cholesterol or something. Uh, okay. One of them said that I would have to stop taking them right. until um, it healed up. Did, did they tell you they were going to remove the nails, though? Were they going to take the nails off and then use a laser to prevent the nails from coming back? Is that what they told you? Uh-uh. They, they just say that they have something to kill the fungus. To now. kill the fungus. Very and it's a laser. Okay. The insurance don't cover it. I have to pay five hundred dollars. Oh my goodness. Okay. You can do it and I not have to pay five hundred dollars, but I would have to stop taking the medication to see if my doctor mm -hmm. say I can stop taking this one particular yeah. medication and right. they can do it then. So what I'm gonna sure. do then is I'm gonna give you a gel product that you can actually apply to the nails, a prescription gel that will kill that fungus. Okay. But here's the thing, it, it can take as long as a year to work. Okay. So you have to really be dedicated to, to, to keep putting that polish on. I can and, be dedicated. Okay, and it will be covered by your insurance, so you don't have to worry about any out-of-pocket expense on this, okay? okay? So I'm gonna give you a cream for the skin, 
especially for the ringworm, but also for all around the foot. And I would just go ahead and I would rub it in real good every night. Okay. Um, and and I, you probably need to do this for a couple of months to get rid of all that fungus. Okay. okay. The ringworm itself should go away in a couple of weeks, but mm -hmm. but all of that other um, that other tinea. And then again, I don't know if it was the nail place. You know, they get they don't uh, hand wash. You can get this stuff anywhere. Anyway, yeah. And I see you're wearing sandals. You like to keep your feet open. Yeah, I put them on so you can see my feet. Well, all right. Do you, wear them. Do, you, do you wear sandals a lot, though? No. No. But no. you know what, though? You said the why. The truth is, is uh, gyms and workout places are just notorious for being sources of picking up foot fungus of all kind. Mm -hmm. Just is. Yeah. And so you probably got it there, and now you're probably leaving it there, too. So you're, yeah. you're probably part of the, the foot fungus problem now, right. too. So, mm -hmm. so when we get this cleared up, what you need to do is get yourself some, uh, like, shower shoes or some workout shoes. So when you go into the locker room to change you put on uh, like a rubbery kind of uh, workout shoe mm -hmm. and you wear that all the way out into the pool and wear it the whole time and then when you wear it back in to the shower you shower off while you're wearing it and then you carefully dry off and you put your regular street shoes back on okay. that will help prevent you from getting you know getting this uh, again okay. if, we get, if we get rid of it now this is going to be a job but you can do it and I'm going to give you this stuff Bebe you're awesome thanks for sharing your story with all our you're friends welcome. on Facebook Do it. Oh, ready? Stay tuned for the Meta 7 video. Hi, Dr. Gilmore fans. I want to remind you to check out Meta 7 and Rest More. Meta 7 will give you more energy during the day, and Rest More will help you sleep at night. Try both today. There are Amazon links below.